Well, Kalen DeBoer has his first big SEC showdown test this weekend as Alabama's head coach. More than 100,000 folks will be in the stands, but four of them may be cheering him on the loudest of all. Your Tuscaloosa reporter Brian Henry live from Bryant Denny Stadium with why they had this special connection, Brian. Well, Jonathan, one is a former player, and the others are either close friends with Coach DeBoer or connected to their alma mater at the University of Sioux Falls in South Dakota. As much as this is a different showing some love for Alabama head coach Kalen DeBoer. It's just crazy how much attention he's getting back home and how proud of uh, of him we are. Proud and loud for DeBoer, Alex Anderson played wide receiver for the coach during his first head coaching job at the University of Sioux Falls, South Dakota in the mid-2000s. What makes him tick? Uh, winning. And when he did, three national championships at the University of Sioux Falls. And so you're in game mode. Kalen DeBoer so far has won more than 100 games against 12 losses in his coaching career. <laughs> Anderson and his friends will tell you DeBoer is not the next Nick Saban, but the first Kalen DeBoer to take over Alabama. And he's got some huge shoes to fill, no doubt about it. Obviously, Coach Saban um, laid an incredible foundation and had a tremendous amount of success. And I think you're going to find that same type of success with Coach DeBoer, but he's going to do it in a different way. I brought a couple of DeBoer's friends are 16 hours away. They left Sioux Falls at 5 a.m. Thursday. The trip to Tuscaloosa made possible through a fundraiser benefiting their alma mater. I mean, he just taught me a lot of life lessons. What it means. And while in town, by the way, Alex Anderson couldn't resist snapping off a selfie in front of a Kalen DeBoer cutout. <laughs> well, we gave up a lot of money that went to the <laughs> University of Sioux Falls football program. We gave up four days of work and time away from our family. All because they see Kalen DeBoer as part of their families. Tuscaloosa and Sioux Falls may be a thousand plus miles apart, but come Saturday night, four friends will close the gap. And I'm so excited to see him tomorrow. For the man leading the tide. And today, Alex Anderson, Mick Lambert, Todd Knutson, and Russell Koss say the thing about Kayla DeBoer is that even though he's on a much bigger stage, he is still the very person they remember. Your Tuscaloosa reporter, Brian Henry, WBRC 6 News, on your side.